What is the correct level for vitamin D? Is your doctor correct when they tell you to take 1,000 international units? Are they correct when they tell you take 50,000 international units of vitamin D2 every single week? So let's get right into this video. So number one, vitamin D is not just for bones, okay? It's for muscle strength, balance, immune function, things like infection, autoimmune disease, or inflammatory disease. It's also very important for metabolic function. Diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease can all be impacted by your vitamin D levels. Pregnancy and infant health is also related. There are two vitamin D systems, okay? Number one, there's something called an endocrine system, and basically your kidneys will take inactive vitamin D to vi uh, active vitamin D. Now, the sunlight, when you get sunlight, the liver will process some of that and then take it to the kidneys, okay? So it converts it from inactive to active, and the active is called calcitriol, and basically it helps to keep calcium in the bones, okay? Now there is another system called intracrine, paracrine, or genomic systems, okay? This is where it starts to impact immune cells, the placenta, and other tissues in our body. So these cells will take your vitamin D, absorb it into the cell, and convert it to its active form. It's important for gene expression, right? It's important for pregnancy, immune function, inflammation, and autoimmune disease. Now, you have your basic level to keep your um, bones healthy, minimum requirements to prevent things like rickets or osteomalacia. This is when you take your minimum dose to prevent those types of diseases. And unfortunately, the current research has shown that the recommended dosages is woefully inadequate. So let's get right into this one. So in order to keep our bare minimum health for our bones is approximately 15 nanograms per milliliter. This is just basically preventing rickets, preventing osteomalacia, okay, or weakening of the bones. Approximately 20 nanograms is your basic need for muscular uh, skeletal support, balance, strength of muscles, etc. You want 30 nanograms to prevent osteoporosis, inflammatory bone diseases, right? 40 nanograms decreases your risk for metabolic disorders. 50 to 60 nanograms is starting to hit, really hit your sweet spot, adaptive and innate immunity. And then above 80 nanograms, you can start impacting autoimmune disease and inflammatory conditions. So where is the sweet spot? For most people, I would say between 50 and 80. I've always mentioned in my videos, I like to see 60 to 80 as optimal. Usually uh, above 80 is okay. Even up to 100 or 125 typically doesn't cause toxicity. However, if you're going to dose it correctly, it's important that you check the levels of your vitamin D. So basically, the old school is usually 600 international units. Current research is showing that it's more like five to 6,000 international units, okay? So you wanna keep this number in mind and you want to do a blood test. The blood test, you can check for the inactive vitamin D called 25-hydroxy. The cost is approximately $29 or $30 and a you know, small fee for a blood draw. The dosage, so you check your levels and dose it. You can take 5,000 international units plus vitamin K, basically 90 to about 100 micrograms. You can take the form MK7 uh, for vitamin uh, K. Magnesium is also important because it converts inactive vitamin D to active forms. 
So magnesium glycinate, 200 to 300 milligrams per day. You can use other fat-soluble vitamins along with omega-3s. You can also add in zinc and boron. Okay? I made a comprehensive video on vitamin D if you want to learn more about the nuance of how it works. But today's video, I really want to show that this is based off a 2024 20, uh, research article showing that your bare minimum really should be in this area, 50 to 80. I like between 60 and 80. And if you're going to try to go above 80 uh, nanograms, definitely work with a provider who can help you do that. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung. We're Clinical Excellence Meets Excellent Results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.